the thing which was happening in the past and it is being continued at the present moment is called as present tense present tense is also classified into again different categories the categories are simple present present progressive present perfect present perfect progressive i repeat once again present tense is classified into again four types which is simple present present progressive present perfect and present perfect progressive now coming to the future tense the things which are going to happen in the future or which may take place in the future is called as future tense future tense is also classified again into four types which is future progressive future perfect simple future and future progressive think or idea nouns are often used with an article the a and but not always i give you the example as the young girl brought me a very long letter from the teacher and then she quickly disappeared here in the sentence we have to search for the name for the person place thing or idea in this example girl letter and teacher these are the nouns second one we will go through the pronoun what is a pronoun a pronoun is a word used in place of a noun a pronoun is a word used in place of a noun a pronoun is usually substituted for a specific noun which is called its antecedent here we are discussing in general so let's not go in deep third one is a verb what is a verb a verb expresses action or being there is a main verb and sometimes one or more helping verbs verbs also take different forms to express tense next is an adjective an adjective modifies or describes a noun or pronoun it usually answers the question of which one here we discuss now about the tenses now let's go to the next part of english grammar the next thing which we are going to study is parts of speech you people might have studied this before also but still i'll be telling you in general which are all the parts of speech you all know that there are eight types of speech the eight types of speech in english language are noun pronoun verb adjective adverb preposition conjunction and interjection these are the eight parts of speech now what does this part of speech indicate let's see the part of speech indicates how the word functions in meaning as well as grammatically within the sentence an individual word can function as more than one part of speech when used in different cases understanding parts of speech is essential for determining the correct definition of a word when using the dictionary 
Now let us see what is a noun. A noun is the name of a person, place, thing or idea. I repeat once again. A noun is the name of a person, place, thing. How many? The fifth one is an adverb. An adverb modifies or describes a verb, an adjective or another verb. It usually answers the questions of when, where, how, why, under what circumstances or to what degree. The sixth one is a preposition. A preposition is a word placed before a noun or pronoun to form a phrase modifying another word in the sentence. Therefore, a preposition is always part of a prepositional phrase. The prepositional phrase almost always functions as an adjective or as an adverb. Seventh one is a conjunction. A conjunction joins words, phrases or clauses. I'll be telling you all about the phrases and clauses later. Here we are only discussing about the definitions. Coordinating conjunctions connect grammatically equal elements. The words which are used as a conjunction are but, or, nor, for, so, yet. Next one is interjection which is the eighth one and interjection is a word used to express emotions so students in today's class we have studied about what is english grammar how it is useful in our daily life what useful in our daily life what are tenses? How are tenses classified? And the next thing which we have studied is the parts of speech and how the parts of speech are classified into eight different types. The eight different types were noun, pronoun, verb, adjective, adverb, preposition, conjunction and interjection in today's class i have just said you the definitions of all these parts of speech in the next section we'll be discussing in detail about the parts of speech and about the tenses today's homework for english grammar is i want you all to write the definition of grammar in your notebook how the tenses are classified and the definitions of all these parts of speech which I have explained in this video. Hear it properly and try to write it in your own words. Also, try to find the different types of tenses and find the examples for each of this tense. I hope you all have understood what I have explained today. Thank you.